All right, thank you. And I uh, appreciate you joining us here this morning. Hello, everyone. And uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for taking the time to join us here at our Boeing annual shareholders meeting. Is that link a mistake, a design mistake? Well, what we've seen is, is we've looked at the MCAS activation, this erroneous angle attack information that came into the airplane. Uh, we've also gone back and taken a look at the design of the MCAS system itself, the original design. Uh, we've confirmed that it was designed per our standards, certified per our standards. In the light of the crisis facing your company and in the interest of re-earning the trust of the flying public, have you considered resigning? Well, I think the important thing here again is we're very focused on safety. And I can tell you that both of these accidents weigh heavily on us as a company. I've had the privilege of working for the Boeing company for uh, 34 years. And my clear intent is to continue to lead on the front of safety and quality and integrity. That's who we are as a company. Why did you put an MCAS system in place in the planes without notifying the airlines or the pilots? And why did you not tell the pilots that the angle of attack disagree warning light was deactivated? First of all, when you take a look at the original design of the MCAS system, uh, I think in some cases uh, in the media it's been reported or described as an anti-stall system, which it is not. It's a system that's designed to provide handling qualities for the pilot that meet pilot preferences. Certainly, we've been taking a look at uh, some of the reports that are out even again uh, today, taking a look at uh, the design of that original system. Again, I can confirm for you that going forward, that angle of attack uh, disagree signal is something that will be standard on all of the 737 maxes. How do you win back trust when there are some that feel you have a real credibility issue uh, when, you, when Boeing has not come out and said, you know, we didn't do this right. Yeah, I think those are very fair questions again. And we've, again, probed on those same questions ourselves. We've gone back and looked at, at both accidents. Uh, we've done deep assessments of our airplane and the design. And we've confirmed that the MCAS system, as originally designed, did meet our design and safety analysis criteria and our certification criteria. Never mind the processes. You went through it and you did the best you could. But what you came up with in the end was flawed, was it not? Dominic, I'll go again back to what I said earlier. We've, we've designed the MAX to have the flying qualities that were desired in the hands of the pilots. The MCAS system is part of that design effort. Uh, we have gone back and confirmed again as we do the safety analysis, the engineering analysis, that we have followed exactly the steps in our design and certification processes that consistently produce safe airplanes. Now, in, in this case, again, as in all, most accidents, there are a chain of events that occur. 